come to home the present and the to announce to us the exact reason why we are here today. Proceed, we must give honor to whom honor is due. People who work so hard in making this our dream come true. People like Iche or the Naka. People like Iche and Nabife. People like Iche Orimiri. And um, all our able men, home and abroad, who work so hard for us to be on our own. May the gods of our forefathers protect them. They will continue to prosper. May the gods of our forefathers continue to bless them. And the women will give us our cultural dance. Let them make us proud of your Mumba.
am of the opinion that Ichiorime should be our Igwe. He is very rich and is well connected to the government. If he rules us as our Igwe, he will break a lot of things for this community. I am supporting that he should be the Igwe of this community. I totally disagree with you, Ichi. Why? Why? It is not in our power to appoint the Igwe. Rather, by the will of the gods. And besides, we all know Ichi Olimi is a bad-tempered and violent man. Who is not bad-tempered? And I want to say that such a man is not in any way qualified to become the Igwe of this community. Ichi Yes. A leader should possess the heart of compassion and not that of anger. Yes. Nibai or Ezioku. Yes. I agree with Ichi Odinaga. And the man that fits such a description is none other than Ichi Akodinawa. Which Akodinawa are you talking about? Akodinawa that stays in Lagos. Akodinawa ventures. He is not only kind-hearted, but he is extremely rich and has built a school and hospital in this community. Is you could call. And that's of our people. Why are we agreeing like market women? Why? Eh? It is too obvious we have gotten our autonomous community. And we are happy. Are we not happy? We are happy. We are happy. Yeah. And it is also important that a man who is going to be our Igwe must be a man of unquestionable character. Yes. A man with great credibility. Freedom. Lastly, our people are expecting. There is so much expectation from our people who will be the Igwe. But it's not in the will of man to choose who will be the Igwe. But that of the gods. Yes. That's one of the reasons we invited Okaka, the chief priest, who is the eye of the gods, to tell us who among us is going to be the Igwe? Obre. Obre. As a more, speak to us. Tell us who among us that the gods have chosen to be our Igwe. Elders of Omumba, the gods have chosen two people from this community. Who, who are the people as a more? The gods have chosen Orimini from Njikoka Kindred and Ezekiel Agunaya from Unable Kindred. Ezekiel, my nephew, who lives in America? Hey, Ibayan. Ane Kuno Yezuhok. Asikuwa Daribi. Yatukuwafu. Why must the gods choose two people at the same time? Instead of going straight to tell us who will be the Igwe of this community. Confusion. The gods have spoken. When the gods have spoken, no mortal has any right to query the authority. I must take my leave now. Guess what? Uh, who? Who? The next person is what? Who? Our own Ezekiel. <laughs> Uh, the gods 
chose Ezekiel, my son. Listen. He stands better chance than Orimili. Orimili has no credibility. Yes, so. Honestly. Nani, I am short of words. I don't even know what to say or think. Come, Come on, buddy. mom. We all know that Brother Ezekiel has contributed a lot to the growth of this village. Okay. Look at the electric facilities. The schools and hospitals he built in uh, Omuneda and uh, Omumba village. With all these things, I think Brother Ezekiel is capable of enough to be the Igwe of this land. Yes! Naimoka, it is not that I, I, am, I am unhappy. I am happy. But Nai, don't you think my son Ezekiel is yet too young to be the Igwe of this community? <laughs> hey, Nai, he, he, he's just 32, yet to get married. And you know as much as I do that he doesn't even know enough of the uh, traditions of this place. Mama Ezekiel, you surprised me. You are talking as if Ezekiel is 13 years old boy. Why? Eh? Have you forgotten that Ezekiel got his first chief fancy title at the age of 25? He is a full grown man. He has been with us. He's rooted there before he went to the city to look for greener pastures. I expected you to be rejoicing than putting up this type of behaviors. Nine, uh, if you say so, if you say so, but nine, I don't like the idea of him competing with uh, Ichi Orimini. You, you know that man is not a good type. He's not. Mama, you bother yourself too much. Uh -uh. Don't you trust your son, Ezekiel? Mama, I trust my brother, Ezekiel. I know that he is feared and well respected in this community. Nobody can stand him, whether Chief Orimini or whoever. Can't stand him in this community. Ha! But Ezekiel is too much. Oh. He would be the evil of our land. Yes. So <laughs> please, oh, what God has put on the throne, let no man dethrone you. Oh. Exactly. Mm, that's it. <laughs> ah, ah, mama, cool down, cool down. God, I thank you. I thank you. So if my son wins now, not now, if I, I will again, win. Will now be known and called. <laughs> In that case, I am going to phone him to come down from America immediately. Yeah. We can't wait. <laughs> Honestly, I am I am delighted. I am very, very delighted. I know. <laughs> I can't believe that the people of Umumba appreciate my efforts. They do. You know something? This afternoon I was just reflecting in my mind how much I spent towards the success of this uh, community realization. I came to realize that I spent a total sum of 420 million naira. <laughs> you can't believe that. But well, you shouldn't be telling me about the money you spent. Because I was part and parcel of the expenditure. I know well, amount yeah. of money you spent, you know. But I'm happy that today is a success. Yeah. Success. <laughs> but do you know my problem? I have a problem with me. What is it? I can't understand this situation where you are required to contest with Ezekiel Agunaya on who will be the way of Omumba community. I, I can't understand it. You know, I was reliably informed that you are talking about a guy who is very rich and equally radical. That's my problem. <laughs> Don't let it bother you at all. Really? I am happy you called him a radical. A radical is a radical. He has is not my match. He cannot stand in a contest with me and win that election. Never. We are talking about a different radical here. No. That's my concern, actually. <laughs> we are talking about a radical who has money. You know, radicals are mainly. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Radicals are mainly problematic. But when a radical has money, he becomes more problematic than others. Listen, Listen Jacob. Listen, just get my get my word. Do you know that that time when you were busy constructing hospitals and schools for our people, Ezekiel Agunia was the person who single-handedly constructed the electric facility that is now giving light to Umunede. And the Mumba people. He's, he has money. Jacob, He's rich. I told you, relax. Don't let that carry your mind away. Really? This is Orimilia Tata. And I'm in charge. Believe me, I'm in charge. I'm encouraged. 
he does not know a single thing about our culture and tradition. He will simply go back to his America, where he dwell and remain there, while we in the community handle the affair of this place. Hmm? Relax, I'm in charge. I am absolutely encouraged you are standing like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm encouraged you're standing this way. Oh. Only because I, I was actually getting nervous. I was beginning to get very nervous. Forget. Really? Okay. Don't relax. <laughs> I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm encouraged you're standing this way.
You're welcome to our house. Oh. <laughs> Lovely wife will not regret coming home because we have a lot in stock for you. So, on behalf of all of us here, home and abroad, we are very, very proud of you. People as the only people in this village to contest those posts, I mean the post of the kingship. Um, Ezekiel, you don't have to talk this way. You see, this is our way of life. I was born to meet this custom and tradition. And the gods don't make mistake. They've been leading our people right from the time of our forefathers. And nobody queries the gods. <clears throat> really? Well, or this other guy, this other contestant, you know, or um, I don't know what his name is. Orimiri. Orimiri, whatever. Well, I understand he is our um, well-known in the community and our wealthy and probably influential. Is that true? Yes, but highly diabolical and dangerous. Oh. See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean, Uncle? Diabolical. I mean, damn, how could I contest such elections with a diabolical man? I don't understand what you're talking about here. I mean, God, it's not, it's not right. Listen. my friend. Huh? You have to stand and destroy anybody that will stand on your way. A lot of our people are behind you, suddenly behind you. 
and all your investments, they are speaking for itself. Don't forget, he who holds a palm front, that's the one the goats follow. You are holding the palm front. A lot of our people want you. Well, yes. Uncle, I'm not afraid of him because I serve a living God. What I'm trying to say is, well, I think we should forget that anyway. But I want you to tell. See, because when I came back here, I came because I love my people and the community as a whole. You know, uh, I don't think I'm going to step down at all. I'm going to realize my dream. And there's all the things I want to tell you. I want you to send words to whoever the other contestant is. And you tell them. I am not going to step down for nobody. Good. And if he comes into my way, tries to stop me, I want to crush him. I mean, uh... How do you say that in Igbo? You're gonna, you know, cross him. I can make way, way. All right. <laughs> I can make way, way. Kill him. <sighs> Tell me, Uncle, what's kill? Way, yeah. I can make way. Yeah. Kill him. Oh God, I could kill him right now. It's okay. Sorry, I, I no, it's okay. When you see him, you do that. All right, Uncle. I go in there. Oh, Mama Pen. Yeah. Oh, Mama Pen. Yeah. Oh, Mama Mwan. Yeah. Mama Diem. Yeah. Mama Mwan. Yeah. Mama Zuan. Yeah. I am delighted because today. Umumba can be identified as a community of its own. With a combined effort, we can leave a great legacy for our generation yet unborn. An organized community is one where no laxity will be tolerated. This meeting was scheduled for nine. Therefore, Ezekiel has no reason to come here by 9.30. This will not be acceptable by us. Mark, Chief, Elders, I greet you all. I am sure you know you all know the reason for my late coming. I already explained that to you all. But that's by the side. Presently in our priority list we have investors from England who are in partnership with me coming to our village to invest on our land. I think that should occupy your minds rather than your mumbo jumbo. Thank you. Elders of our land, I greet you. But there is something I want Ezekiel here sitting with us to clarify. You know, he cannot constantly hide under this cloak of chain of investors, companies, and industries to be deceiving other people all the time. He is not the only person who has international experiences. To the best of our knowledge, Ezekiel has lived only in the United States of America. Urimiri has sitting with us, has traveled to more than 40 countries of this world. Wow. And he is not making noise about it. Whoa. I want Ezekiel to open his mouth and tell other people that he lacks the decorum and the sense of judgment to be an evil. He is educated himself. He knows what I'm saying. It is part of your civic responsibilities to tell the people you cannot do what you know you cannot do. Tell them you cannot be the At least to save your face. You shut up! Look at you, you town crier. Look at your shoes and your jacket. 
What international organizations have you led before? What countries have you been no, in? Shut up! You never crossed the Niger! Shut up! Ezekiel. What international organization have you led in this community? Which one? My brothers. Please, this is not the jungle where the animals exchange powers. If we cannot accept each other as brothers, peace will continue to elude us. Please, let us make this meeting not look like the previous meetings we have held. Please. You sure that I disagree with you? Let him open his mouth and mention those international organizations he has led. Let him name them. Is he necessary? Let him name them. Oh yeah? Well, there are as many as a hundred folds, but I'm going to mention just a few. I am president African authors in the United States. Mm -hmm. I am president Stockbrokers Union in the United States, Wall Street. I am president Committee of Human Rights Laws, United Nations. I am president, you wake up and listen good, okay? Community for Black African Arts and Culture. And presently, I am also being nominated as president of the United Nations Human Rights write laws for children and child abuse. Can you imagine? You. How many books have you written? Ask him. How many do you bring back to this community? You are too much. It's I must deal with Ezekiel. That stupid American deportee has no right to insult me before the elders. Of course. I, Udimiliatunu, I single-handedly sponsored the autonomous approval. Even his uncle, Moka, acknowledged that much. Chief, it, most times I get confused. How you allow yourself to be bothered over things that are not important. The contributions you made Concerning the approval of the autonomous community is known everywhere. That is not in doubt. I, I don't know the reason why you are bothering yourself with things that are, that are not important. The better thing for us to do now is to forget all the things that already happened. Let us concentrate on the things that are about to happen in Omumba. I'm going to keep him occupied. She feels talk in parables all the time. How do you mean keep him occupied? I'm lost. I am going to pick his brother and that will keep him busy for some time. Are you talking about Desmond? Yes, Desmond. How do you mean you pick him? Do you want to kidnap him or something? <laughs> kidnap that childish. I'm going to end him. Chief, are you aware that ending him, as you said, is tantamount to capital punishment? Chief, we're talking of village politics here. Must we kill? That is the only way to deal with that rat. At the time, he's busy trying to bury his brother. At the other end, we're busy getting his punishment. I must get to the extreme. But I still have my fear anyway. As you know, I have my fear. Yeah, your fear is childish. Your fear is childish. Yeah, I, I must get to the extreme to be the of this community. Yeah. Nothing will stop me. In village politics, I don't think killing people should be part of it. You can be the without shedding blood. You know? When you grow up, you will learn. 
Drink. All this stuff. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. But yes, I, I, I've never seen this kind of thing before. The oh, food. this is uh, Canadian cognac. The volume of alcohol is too high. In your next world, pray hard to come from a very rich home, <laughs> like myself. You see, I have enough money to spend, and with that, I can do anything I like. I can even date any woman that appeals to me. Just pray hard. Pray hard. You know Midnight. So, are you telling me that I'm not from a rich home? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just asking. I'm no. saying, don't misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand me. <laughs> See, guys, money is sweet, very sweet, honey. I think you're very lucky to have found me. Mm. Very lucky. No, but you are lucky to have found me. You're not serious. This month. Sure. This month. Yes. This one is sounding like this. Are you sure that you're going to be available for tomorrow's morning meeting? Meeting? Yes. Who is talking about meeting? <laughs> As you can see, I have a big job this night. <laughs> so tomorrow, I am sleeping throughout. Please. So the meeting can go to hell. Yes. But are you fit? <laughs> You're asking me. Look me in the eye. Don't I am done me. looking you. Are you Guy. fit? Are you fit to handle? Guy? Why not? Wait until we get Let's there. Guy, I say take it so easy, high. right? <laughs> Anything that you people are doing, you yeah. think is sweet. Remember back, that thing happened. Bitter. Back. Get up, man. No, you think I'm joking. Guys, eh? I am getting tips here. I will see you tomorrow. Mm. Are you checking out? Yeah. I'll see you guys. Mine is you. It's alright. It's so Got you. Just remember what I told you. I will remember. Um, I respect you because you always stand by the truth. What I'm saying, sir, is that a time must always come in our lives when we must put all our differences apart and tell ourselves the truth. What truth are you talking about? Ezekiel Agonaya may not be your biological son, but as his only surviving uncle, it could be argued. You are his father. The truth that I'm saying is that that young man may not always tell himself the truth. So the onus of telling him the truth weighs heavily on you. Please go straight to the point. I, 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 I don't have time for all this. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. I want you to go back to your family and tell Ezekiel that he lacks the competence to be the young man. He lacks the sense of judgment. He lacks the decorum. Really? 
if you make him the evil, I am being very sincere with you. A day must come when this man is going to pull a revolver in a council meeting and fire everybody. You amuse me. You amuse me. Listen, the earlier you stop following Norimiri, the better for you. Because you are dabbling into politics. And you know very well that it is the gods that choose who will be the evil. Why don't you wait for the gods? Yes. Ishe Moka, we are talking of politics here. Why, why talk about the gods all the time? We are talking of politics. We are going to vote. My son, I am a man of honor. I am not one of those that will sell their conscience because of money. No. Ishe Moka. I must disappoint Ishe you. Moka, I know the reason why you are talking like this. I, I know Ezekiel must have promised you a lot of things, a lot of money, American dollars, and that should be the reason why you are supporting him. For me. But I want to tell you the truth. Listen to me. I am a man of my words. Anything Ezekiel has promised you, be it money, be it anything, we are going to give you double. We are only asking you to come to our camp. Listen, my son. The chameleon says he will not abandon the dignifying walking ways of his forefathers just because the bush is burning. I am a titled man. I call him. Manile, I will never tell lies. Why don't you wait for the gods to choose who will be our evil? But we can contribute. We are going to vote. My son, you don't know anything about custom of our people. And don't run before your time. Wait! And let's see who the gods will choose as our evil. And I think this will be. Moka, if, if only you could just come to our side, it's going to affect a lot of things. Oh. We are going to give you money. Real money. It's like you don't fear the gods. But, 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 talking about, we're talking about gods, we're talking about politics. That something is going down if you listen closely. My girl. 
Chief Mohammed, you and your nephew, you should take it. God give it, God take it. Only the gods know why this tragedy has befallen our community. And we must get into this matter seriously. And whomever that is involved must be punished. Take heart. Ndun. Ndun. That something is going down If you listen closely mm -hmm. You will uh, hear Chief Yeah it so clearly. Uncle It's about Power to survive. I'm gonna get to the bottom of all this crap And the show of muzzle there And uh, if I find out that it uh, Where's his name again? Chief Orimiri if I find out that it's Orimiri, or how do you say, uh, kill and ego, win, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna kill him. Something is happening. Something is happening. Even 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 it's through a charge about a murder has been laid against this high council. But let us be wise in our decisions so that we can settle this problem amicably. I am putting it to Ichi Olimri here present that he knows what happened to this one. Yes. Ah. Yes. Watch your tongue. Watch your tongue, Daka. Watch your tongue. What are you insinuating? That I have a hand in the boy's death? Watch your tongue. You are beginning to overstep your boundary. You are overstepping your boundary! You sit down! What's his name, please? Orimiri. Orimiri? You're a fool. I beg your pardon. What's his name again? Orimiri. Orimiri? You're a bigger fool, man. Yes. I beg your pardon. Sit down! Sit down, you chip. I called you a fool because you don't even know the gravity of what you just did. Ezekiel, I am surprised at you that your brother was stupidly killed in a hotel room by a prostitute. And you are putting his stupid death on me. I'm surprised. My brother might have been killed by a prostitute or whatever. I don't give a damn about that for now. But I promise you one thing. The perpetrators of that evil act will never go scot-free. Elvis, I demand that he swears the blood oath. I will not swear any oath. I am a dignified personality in this community. <laughs> a titled man. And a chair. I will not soil my hand in any blood. So it took support. Then prove it. Prove it that you're innocent. Alright? Or you leave us no choice than to destroy you. Destroy me. Are you threatening me again? Enough! 
enough. Traditionally, Lord God is demanded for such an alleged crime. Yes. Mm -hmm. Orimini must wear a black coat to vindicate himself. Yes. Ah, exactly. There is no two ways about it. Ah. You must wear. You can't lie. You ah. must wear. So, Chiori, me. Yes. Orimini, I don't mean to swear an oath. Shall see. You once told me that the reason why you like me and the reason why you like to relate with me is because I say things the way they are. That's correct. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that singular compliment. Actually, sir, I have come to say my mind once again. I am not comfortable with the present arrangement where you want us to go and bribe the chief priest. I'm not comfortable with that at all, sir, and I have come to say so. Jacob, sir, do you realize that today in Omumba that I'm the most influential person? Yes, I know. Then I should be the one to detect the pace, not the other way around. By the way, are you not bothered that those compromised chiefs are undermining my personality and my capacity in this community? Chief, no. Chief, no. You are getting me wrong here, sir. That's not what I'm saying, sir. We are talking about the culture of Omumba people here. And as you know, the culture of Omumba is bigger than any single individual citizen of Omumba community. It is a sacrilege, or should I say, an encyclopedic abomination for anybody to attempt to bribe the chief priest. Jacob, are you suggesting that I should go and swear the oath of innocence? and then be destroyed by the gods. No, Chief. That's what I'm suggesting. No, Chief. No, no. Sir, there are two statements I want you to issue publicly. And after you issue these statements, you lead me to play the politics. Number one, I want you to issue a public statement that says you know nothing about the death of Desmond. And then again, you issue another statement in your capacity, as you just mentioned, the most influential citizen of Omumba, you tell them you are not prepared under any guise to swear to any oath. When you issue these statements, you leave me to play the politics. We can drag this matter, drag this matter, drag this matter Jacob, and it will die a natural death. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Please. Do you realize that this oath of a thing, the date has been fixed by the elders? Yes, I do. And nothing can change that. I have accepted to go and swear that oath. I must go and see the chief priest. Listen, my honor is at stake. My personality is at stake. My title is at stake. So you want me or to allow them to drag me to the mud? No. That is not possible. Chief, don't be offended. Don't be offended. But to be very sincere with you, Getting you some knock So you are hands enough, huh? Eh? Under the circumstances, yes, sir. How can somebody imagine a situation where we go and bribe the priest? The chief priest? It's okay, Jacob. That's I, wrong. I understood you correct. That's wrong, sir. In that case, don't bother. Jacob, leave me in peace. You can go now. Okay. Good night, chief. When money speaks, people listen. Even the chief priests bow to the force of money. The elders of Umumba have been undermining my capacity and my power. 
They're taking me to the shrine. I will go. But to their shock, I will be swearing to an empty shrine. <laughs> because that day, the spirit will take leave. I, Rimilia Tata of Omumba, I must be the king, the Yugwe of Omumba. <laughs> <laughs> money is power and power is money Come on, neighbor, and I joke. Men do walk in the night. But the truth is that men are not animals of the night. We are standing before the shrine of Ubu. Let us search our hearts. Are you prepared, Orimani, to take the oath of innocence? I'm prepared. Very well. In my capacity as the chief priest of Umumba, I invite the gods of our sisters to come up. I invite the god of thunder, the god of fire, the gods of life and death, to come up. If Orimiri is innocent, spare him. He said, He say, Bless him all around. He said, But if he's not, rise your hand of judgment against him. He say, against his family. He say, against the generations yet unborn. He say, here. I'll continue this merriment till the next morning. Oh I'm so delighted. I'm very happy. Oh. <laughs> Just imagine. Eh? Ezekiel, a small boy of, of yesterday, daring me the lion. I will teach him a lesson of his life. He does not know what he's playing with. But why, why bother yourself with the riff? Like Ezekiel. Oh, please. Ezekiel that just joined 419 and cooking business and made millions of money. And he's beginning to challenge an authority like you. Who made your money legitimately? I am happy you know this. Everybody in this community is aware of how you made your money. And how far you have gone to help the poor and the needy in our community. And they have forgotten that. They have forgotten that because of Ezekiel of yesterday. Do, do you know what? Uh, Ezekiel had just burnt his fingers by his callous attitude. But he's still the and by that. tomorrow, the news of his obituary will spread everywhere. Bam. <laughs> Not to worry about it. Please, my lady, Mary. <laughs> God chase, my dear. <laughs> Come on, baby girl. Yes. Oh, my sweetheart. Please. That's my girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. See. Where is the chicken now? Eh? Even in
Something is going down If you listen closely mm -hmm. You will hear it, hear it so clearly It's about power
Omumba, Quinn. Lian. Mwan. Quezwen. Today is the day of our standing change in Omumba. Change, they say, is the only constant thing in life. Today is the day we've set aside to crown our illustrious song, Ichie Ezekiel Agona, the Mbana Abaragu one of Omomba as the Igwe of Omomba. This is the crown of Omomba. It's now on your head. And this is your staff of office. Igwe! This is for you, Ugoeze. And uh, this goes with it also.
the bottom of my heart. For cornering this invitation. You know, it came within a very short notice. And you honored it. It goes a long way to show you and you are an elder with class. Thank you very much. I thank you very much for coming, sir. But, sir, how would you assess the occasion that took place today? Oh, it was wonderful. Beautiful. Best of its kind in this part of the world. As a matter of fact, the people of Umunede, they, they will be bearing themselves with shame. Because we set a standard. We've set a standard. Sir, is that what you think? Of course. But this year, Moka, it was reported that your Igwe, Igwe Ezekiel, came to that occasion on a bike and was actually carrying his wife on a bike. Point of correction. Igwe to be. Right? Igwe to be. And that thing you call bike is called power bike. For your information, it cost Igwe Ezekiel 22,000 US dollars. And that alone can buy the whole of your family. Generation yet unborn. Ishimoka, nobody is nobody is talking about the money he spent on the bike. But but could that be the reason why he was wearing earrings? Your Igwe wearing earrings? Shut up! Shut up! I be a bainanti, I be a mafia, I be babuqua inanti. What do you know about the tradition of our people? Are you a title chief? Do you know that Igwe Ezekiel was not chosen by men, but by the gods, the gods of our forefathers? And nobody has any right to question the gods. If he likes, he can come to the market square with his trousers unbuttoned. It's none of your business. Why are you carrying this hatred for Igwe Ezekiel too far? Let this be the first and last you will invite him for this nonsense, miserable discussion. Are you not going to finish your drink? You are very stupid. I have no time to come and listen to fools like you discussing what you don't know. And it's like that I tell you where you come from. Look at Ezekiel. How are you good? Riding on a bike. On with, even with his wife. The America. So say the America. Absurdity, you know? Serious absurdity. Igwe, my fellow elders, Ifo Kenya, don't have a weapon. What a lot of my friends. Igwe, what you are about to do has never been heard or seen any queer. Your place as Igwe is here with your people in this community. I mean, you are not supposed to be ruling us from the city. What image are we displaying to the people and other communities? Surely, the women and the people will have cause to laugh at our faces. Yes, let them laugh at your faces. They can never laugh at mine. They will laugh at your mud, thatched, old, faded palaces which were all blown away by the wind and the rain. Now listen, let me tell you, you're getting me wrong. The palace I built in the city is a modern one. And I decided to upgrade dignity for this community by doing so. Leadership is from the spirit of God Almighty. And thanks to science, I still love my community. I've helped you uphold that dignity. And I'm telling you, my wife and my son can never live in this village. But the girls will not be happy with their decision. No! They're talking about what gods? Those wooden ornaments have with, with all sorts of tools. Those stones mixed up with wood and made with the head of an ugly bird. Those are oh gods, those are dead sculptural pieces. Let me tell you, civilization has come to stay in the world. There's a new age now. Do you understand that? Your old men live in dark ages. Wake up! There's so 
much light and more than civilization. Take the likes of Her Majesty the Queen of England, Pope John Paul, Mandela, Bush of the United States. Can't you all think? We must join them. Let me tell you, I have made my decisions as king, and it stands. You either take it or you leave it. But we will have our customs and traditions. If your late father was to be alive, he will destroy you, Igwe. Oh, shh! My father is in the great beyond. He's dead. I making a mountain out of a molehill. I mean, look, this village is still underdeveloped, you know, it's still developing, let's put it that way. Mom, I want my family to live in a better environment, you get it? I mean, I want my son to go to a very good school in the city. Go against their wish. Your your uncle, Naimoka, mm -hmm. told me that the chief priest Okaka forbids you to, and the gods too. Gods, 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 this, gods, that. Oh, mom. I don't believe in those dead gods you call. I actually hate the words. Gods, Mom, it's nothing but superstitious statements and actions. Jesus Christ! Oh. Ezekiel! See what I mean? You just called Jesus Christ. Mom, look. All those gods of the land, gods of the seas, gods of the It's nothing but hypocrisy, man. Look, I might not be born again, you know, but I'm a religious man and I believe in the only one God Almighty. Mm hmm. They were the same, mom. And not those dead gods that you keep calling. I need to go and say something. Ezekiel, come back here. Ezekiel, I said, come back here! What is your problem? Are 
are you walking out on me? Now, answer this question. Was it all the same gods that appointed you the evil of this land and you accepted? Eh? Is it not still the same gods that are telling you to stay here and govern these people and you are saying no, Ezekiel? Ezekiel, watch your back. Things 
Strange things are happening. If an amen. 